I'm on record. I actually like the quote that um, I'm a fan of accelerate approval. You, you know, Michelle, that my mom uh, got a few extra years with her multiple myeloma because of a drug that was studied through accelerated approval and made available very early in its life cycle. And I think that's a great thing and we need to continue that. But I also think the public deserves in return for that um, potential benefit deserves to get the confirmatory information as soon as it's feasible to do it and reasonable. And so I think these confirmatory story studies are absolutely critical. The way I sort of think about it is like a relay race. Um, I don't think the FDA should stop trying to be uh, the fastest team and the most efficient team on the first lap. But I don't think we should just drop the baton at the end of the first lap and then have uh, everybody hope that CMS can find the baton and somehow get going. I think we need a smooth handoff, uh, much like in relay races where uh, people are running side by side. So the, the FDA is clearly not responsible for um, all of this large body of work that's needed in the post-market phase. But if we um, understand each other better, do a better job of designing the studies that are needed for approval, and then, um, as you know, do a better job of getting the bigger studies started um, before approval for accelerated approvals, we can have sort of a situation where not only do we get things to market quickly, but we also find out pretty quickly what turns out to really be effective and hopefully get more use of the effective products and less use of the ones that are not so effective.